Hello and welcome back to another lazy lesson. ISRO chief K7 has recently rejected NASA's claims that they have located the debris of the crashed Vikram lander on the lunar surface and said the ISRO had located it long back. So in today's discussion, we shall try and understand more about the Vikram lander, what happened to it while landing, the objectives of the Chandrayana-2 mission and ultimately the significance of this mission. The lander of Chandrayana-2 was named Vikram after Dr. Vikram A. Sarabhai, the father of the Indian space program. The Vikram lander was designed to function for one lunar day which is equivalent to about 14 Earth days. Now what actually happened to the lander? India's ambitious Chandrayana-2 mission in September this year attempted a soft landing near the moon's south pole. The lander which was supposed to have a soft landing ultimately had to face the hard landing and eventually lost contact with the ISRO. Vikram lander was supposed to land on lunar surface on September 7. This was India's first attempt at a soft landing on the moon. However, nearly after three months, the debris of the Vikram lander has been found. Despite what happened to the Vikram lander, the Chandrayaan-2 mission is said to have achieved 90-95% of its stated objectives. And it is because the orbiter of the lunar mission is still healthy, safe and is in lunar orbit. The Chandrayaan-2 mission of the ISRO received government's approval in 2008. And on July 22nd, the mission was launched on board the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark 3. And with Chandrayaan-2, India was supposed to become only the fourth country in the world to land a rover on the moon. Previously, the United States, Russia and China have landed rovers on the moon. And above all, India was to make a soft landing on the south surface of the moon. Please note here that no country has so far made a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. This year, Israel too had attempted a soft landing near the south pole, but the mission failed. Now let us look at some of the key features of the GSLV Mark III rocket. It is popularly nicknamed as Bahubali. Developed by ISRO, the GSLV Mark III is a three-stage vehicle. It is primarily designed to launch communication satellites into geostationary orbit. It has a mass of 640 tons that can accommodate up to 8000 kg payload to low earth orbit and up to 4000 kg payload to geostationary transfer orbit. The powerful cryogenic stage of GSLV Mark III enables it to place heavy payloads into low earth orbits. Chandrayaan-2 had three components, rover, orbiter craft and lander craft. The rover was named Pragyan and the lander was named Vikram and these three modules were expected to achieve the stated objectives of the Chandrayaan-2 mission. The orbiter was to map the lunar surface, look for presence of major elements on the surface and also monitor X-rays emitted by sun and its corona. And the dual frequency synthetic aperture radar on the orbiter was to map polar regions and estimate water ice in poles. And the rover Pragyan was a six-wheeled solar powered vehicle. It was supposed to make observations and collect data from the moon's surface. It was equipped with two instruments. The primary objective was to study the composition of the lunar surface near the landing site and determine its abundance of various elements. And here is a quick comparison between the Chandrayaan-1 mission and Chandrayaan-2 mission. The Chandrayaan-1 mission was launched in October 2008 on board PSLV. It was supposed to have a mission life of one year. However, it failed four months prematurely. However, the mission has helped scientists discover the presence of water on the moon. Now, what is the use of studying moon? Well, the moon is the closest celestial body to earth in which the studies can be made and documented. Besides, it acts as a testbed to illustrate technologies required for deep space missions. And proper and extensive mapping of lunar surface is both essential and necessary to understand the origins of both the earth and the moon. And all countries, companies and even individuals are concentrating mainly on the South Pole. And what makes the Moon's South Pole so significant? There are mainly four reasons behind this. Firstly, craters in South Pole have been untouched by sunlight for billions of years. Nextly, these permanently shadowed craters are estimated to hold nearly 100 million tons of water. And third, these craters have traces of hydrogen, ammonia, methane, sodium, mercury and silver, making it an untapped source of essential resources. And lastly, the elemental and positional advantages of the South Pole make it a suitable pit stop for future space explorations. 
Let us now understand how the Chandrayaan-2 module travelled all the way from Earth to Moon. On 22 July 2019, the Chandrayaan-2 module on board GSLV MK3 lifted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre at Sri Harikota. And next, the module gets separated from the launch vehicle and is inserted into the desired orbit. And once the module is in place, the orbit raising maneuvers start taking place. And gradually, the orbit of the Chandrayaan-2 module is raised in such a way that it becomes easy for the module to escape the Earth's gravity. And once it escapes the Earth's gravity, it is caught hold by the lunar surface into its orbit. And once it is in the lunar orbit, the module starts to lower itself and starts preparing to lower itself onto the moon's south pole. And before that, the Vikram lander gets separated from the orbiter. And after searching for a suitable place, the Vikram lander was supposed to soft land on the desired place. And after successful landing of the lander Vikram, the rover Pragyan would walk out of the lander to carry out its missions. Now based on today's discussion, try and answer the following question. Which of the following countries has or have successfully made a soft landing on the south pole of the lunar surface? 1. United States 2. Russia 3. China 4. India You can comment your answers in the comment section below. And from main's perspective, Try and write an answer in 100 words on the following question. And that's it for today. Thank you.